Planet Earth is the blue planet. Over 70% of the world's surface is covered in ocean. And that's not just a thin veneer. The average depth of the ocean is over a mile and a half. That's a lot of water, and that water can do a lot of work. It takes up heat, it affects our entire climate, and it feeds us. There's a lot that we need to understand about the ocean if we want to live well here on land. Coral reefs are so fascinating in so many ways. They are the most concentrated biodiversity on the planet. Coral reefs support about 20% of all the species in the ocean we know about. So there are these concentrated sort of jewels of evolutionary history on the planet. But what's fascinating is they only need something less than 0.1% of ocean space. Since they're really in small spaces, there's really a huge opportunity to create a lot of impact by protecting them and preventing further loss of coral reefs. So our mission at One Reef is really to serve the needs of local communities who protect their coral reefs. We find this to be so important because in the last several decades, we've seen about half the coral reefs becoming completely destroyed. Our problems will be overfishing, poachers from outside, climate change. How do, do we deal with all of those problems? We decided we would work in Micronesia for a number of reasons, one of which is we just find Micronesians to be so overwhelmingly well-equipped to protect the reefs that they've owned, that are a part of their fabric, their heritage and their history for so long. We saw the opportunity to work with some of one place remote island communities. And so when we came here, we've heard about Ant Atoll and all the challenges that they've gone through in trying to protect and manage this place. One of the things that we were really fortunate is to have this strong champion, the Rosa now. Ant is a place that I want it to remain the way it is, that my children can grow up and enjoy it the way I saw it at one time when I was growing up. And keep it a natural island, keep it something where people can come and see what they don't see in too many places already. You can see he had the passion to protecting and reviving the, the resources at Ant. One thing I really like, it's very satisfying about this partnership model, is it's so highly direct. I put together funders and partners who share the vision and the goals with these communities and allow these two groups to work together in a highly direct way. So it's very efficient. And we've gotten to the point where the funding we commit under these partnership agreements with communities is fairly modest, but very powerful. What I love about working with Scripps is their technology accurately monitoring the changes in reef health, structure, and function over time. Our colleagues at the Conservation Society of Pompeii uh, are terrific marine scientists, but sometimes lack the financial capacity. Further, there are some new technologies, and we have a lot more tools that help us to watch reefs change. For instance, using large-scale imagery products, working with our colleagues at the Conservation Society of Pompeii to make sure they have access to the image-based products, to that technology, to integrate into their current management efforts. This is so vastly superior because it's true engagement with communities. They are going to be the image collectors, and Scripps will then extract the data that indicate how the health of the reef is changing over time. Communities are enabled to provide some level of compensation to people who are well-trained to enforce no-take areas, to help scientists collect data they need to monitor health of reefs and uh, fish stock recovery over time. So communities get to kind of own part of that process. But it really comes from the heart, you know, that the community owns this. They want to do something about it. And that makes these relationships so much more equitable, and that has huge value to us. We're not just trying to develop what we're doing only for Ant. We want to develop it, and if it works, we want to pass it on to every island 
in this region.